question. Mary, thank you. thank you for joining us today. I know this is your first Google Hangout, which is very cool. I know what it was like for me to experience my first Google Hangout, and it's kind of a new, uh, whole new world, but it's very exciting, so thank you. Thank you. It's really a pleasure to be here. Kind of how you got into the whole uh, scope of genealogy. And basically, I got into genealogy in almost an accidental way, but a good way. So I was working in uh, the financial industry, and one of my coworkers actually lent me his login to a big name genealogy website and said, well, you can find your grandparents' passenger lists on here. And I said, all right. So <laughs> I, lo I logged in, and I searched for them, and I found them, and I, I printed them out. I brought them back over to their house, and I said, is this you guys? And they were like, yes, it is. And honestly, Aaron, the rest is history. I was addicted. I couldn't get enough genealogy. And, uh, you know, here we are today. Because it's beautiful. I have the best job in the world. What can I say? <laughs> I, I thought I had the best job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I might have you, Steve. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. This, this is a real mystery show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a historical mystery, and uh, uh, I, I think New Orleans is the uh, is the histories of mysteries. Uh, so, how I mean, that being a mystery, do you have an idea as to what you're going to be looking for uh, when you when you're you have an assignment such as uh, those that are coming up next week and. Uh, for New Orleans? Uh, well, when uh, after the producers had chosen, for example, each of the three cities, for example, New Orleans, they sought out a diverse mix of folks um, to be on the show, and these people actually applied to the show, and they most of them asked a question or a series of questions, and our research team tackled it, and we got to the bottom or, you know, disproved or proved various things, and then we chose a storyline, of course, that would appear on the air, and that's part of the producer's television magic that I don't understand they do, but they're <laughs> wonderful at it. So I definitely trust them with that, but they know what to look for, and they know what will make an amazing TV and an amazing story that people can relate to. Well, in genealogy, is it's a lot of lost information or just unknown information in general, right? So I guess one question I would have for you, Mary, is, is what would be one of the most standout stories that you have from your experience? Well, uh, you'll have to tune in next week <laughs> to the Board of Trade and the Cabildo because we have an amazing story uh, with a very diverse family that is very, very special to me. And I obviously can't give out any spoilers, but this is not a week you're going to miss. I absolutely love New Orleans, and this is a New Orleans story. It's very, very special. Does it have to uh, do with Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen? Well, I can't tell you. Oh. You have to Come watch on. the show, Steve. That's on your website. No, that's on your website. I cheated. Uh. <laughs> wow, I'm really looking forward to that, though, for sure. That was such a special story to do, Steve, because uh, the, the couple that you're talking about, Dominic and Katie Giardina, it's just really what are the chances? When I'm telling you this island is tiny, you know, and there were only, you know, a few thousand or some odd people back then when their families lived there. So the fact that we were able to find a connection for them, I think was a very special thing for them. And their entire family came to the filming and I had a chance to meet them. They're all lovely people. So, you know, doing genealogy is really a gift to the client. And I was just going to say, we do have a comment from the audience and uh, Andrew Hatchett, good friend of ours, who's uh, very much into genealogy, says, uh, by the way, Mary, that you're prettier than Josh. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I appreciate that. 